friends welcome back to my channel we're here today for another vlogmas video which means we have another book list another challenge if you watched my video from yesterday then you know we started a series we're going to be going through this box of notebooks the color of books eight mini notebooks that are being presented by clarkson potter new york this was a gift from Penguin Random House. Read the rainbow. It says, these eight blank notebooks with lined pages feature a spectrum of book titles to discover with a checklist in the back of each notebook. So the books are running the color spectrum. So if you fan them out, you should get the rainbow. Oh, here's what they look like. Read the rainbow. So yesterday we started with red. Someone commented that the video yesterday was too short. It was short because I didn't do an introduction. I didn't talk. We just went through the list of books. And there's a reason for that. So we had family friend. Well, we had family staying with us for the weekend. And we just came in and we were about to go out again. And I had about five minutes <laughs> to record the video. So I had to get it all in in the time that I had. Because if I didn't do it then, I probably wouldn't have been able to put out a video yesterday. So, sorry that the video was rushed. I said that while I was filming. I'm explaining now <laughs> why the video was rushed. So, yesterday we did one book. Today, since you asked for it, we'll do two books. We'll do the orange book and the yellow book. So, we're reading the rainbow, R-O-Y. So, two books. So, the books... There's a spectrum on each book. So we're starting with reddish orange, I guess. So we're coming from here and we're going here and then we're going here, right? Is that how this works? So we should really go from the bottom. But I'm going to use the checklist in the back. So the books, the books are cool. The books are really cool. So on the front is the title of a book. On the back corresponding is the author and so I'm not sure if so I guess the titles have uh, a word in there that is a different color so like James and the Giant Peach is the one all the way at the top and the one closer to well the penultimate one here is like water for chocolate so that's brownish <laughs> I'm not gonna go there because then I have to go back and forth in the back of the book, we also have a reading checklist, which is alphabetical. So we're going to do that because I think it's a little easier to keep track if it's alphabetical by title. So we're going to start with the orangish, red, red to orange, and then we're going to go from orange to yellow. So, but before we do the books, we must sing because it is a vlogmas. So we're making a book list and checking it twice we're gonna find out who's been naughty or nice book lists are coming to town it's book lists vlogmas style hi friends thank you so much for being here for these videos i absolutely love the daily challenge i absolutely love going through these checklists these book lists one of my favorite things, aside from reading, is doing other things with books. So here's today's reading checklist. 20 books from this book, <laughs> 20 books from this list. You're going to tell me how many of them you've read. I'll tell you how many of them I've read. And if I have any of these books, I'll show them to you as well. Alphabetical by a title. American Rust by Philip Mayer, published in 2009. Yay, this book is is great. American Rust by Philip Mayer, published in 2009, I have not read. An American Sunrise by Joy Harjo, published in 2019, I have not read. Bark by Laurie Moore, 2014, I have not read. The Bronze Bow by Elizabeth George Spare, 1961, no, I have not read. Brown Girl Brownstones by Paul Marshall, published in 1959, I have read. I actually read an ebook of this last year or the year before. This uh, the author is American. She was born in the United States, but her parents are from St. Vincent, I think. She is Caribbean, of Caribbean heritage. So I read this book, I think, in preparation for Caribbean last year. The Carrot Seed by Ruth Krauss, published in 1945, I have not read. 
The Chestnut Man by Soren Svistrup, published in 2018, I have not read. A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, 1962, I haven't read. The Copper Beach by Maeve Binchy, 1992, I have not read. The Coral Sea by Patti Smith, 1996, I have not read. Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon, 1992, I have not read. Five Quarters of the Orange by Joanne Harris, 2000, I have not read. The Ginger Man by J.P. Donlevy, 1955, I have not read. The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros, 1984, I have not read. I need to rectify that really soon. James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl, 1961, I have not read. Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel, 1989, I have read, so I'm up to two. The Mandarins by Simone de Beauvoir, 1954, I have not read. Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami, 1987, I have not read. Portrait in Sepia by Isabel Allende in 2000, I have not read. And Sunset Song by Louis Grassic Gibbon, published in 1932, I have not read. So of the orange books, I've read two of 20. Don't tell me your score yet. We're going to add them up. We're going to do the yellow book. <laughs> yellow books. So we're going from orangey yellow to almost white in this one. So here's where we start. Book number 21. All Among the Barley by Melissa Harrison, 2018, I have not read. Blonde by Joyce Carol Oates, 1999, I have not read. I have never read anything by Joyce Carol Oates, even though she has published probably dozens of books at this point. I haven't read anything by her. She is the favorite author of Eric Carl Anderson from Eric Carl Anderson. <laughs> I love his channel. I love hearing what he has to say about books. He has interviewed her on his challenge on his channel. He talks about her all the time and I'm intrigued. I just haven't picked up anything that she's written yet. So Blonde by Joyce Carol Oates, 1999. I have not read. Chrome Yellow by Aldous Huxley, 1921. I have not read. Cup of Gold by John Steinbeck, 1929, I have not read. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, published in 2019, I have not read. Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury, 1957, I have not read. Dr. Marigold by Charles Dickens, 1865. I'm not familiar with the title of this work. I thought I knew all the Charles Dickens works. Not that I've read them all, but I thought I knew all his titles, but... I've never heard of Dr. Marigold before. So no, I haven't read it. <laughs> the Golden Apples by Eudora Welty, 1949, I have not read. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, published in 2013 and winner of the Pulitzer Prize, I have read and I own. I want to read her book, The Secret History, next. A Grain of Wheat by Gugi Wathiongo, 1967, I have not read. Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, published in 2006. I have not read. I've owned this book for several years. I keep meaning to read it, but it's on my shelf like I've already read it, but I haven't. In Search of the Canary Tree by Lauren E. Oakes, published in 2018. I have not read. Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr, 2014. I have not read. So a few days ago, we did, maybe a week ago or so now, we did a challenge where we read her favorite books, but I haven't read her book in its, I haven't read any of her books in their entirety. She writes and publishes poetry. I should rectify that. <laughs> Notes on a Banana by David Leet, 2017, I have not read. The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake by Amy Bender, 2010, I have not read. The Saffron Kitchen by Yasmin Crowther, 2006, I have not read. The Scent of Almonds and Other Stories by Camilla Lackberg, published in 2014, I have not read. Straw Dogs by John Gray, 2002, I have not read. The Temple of the Golden Pavilion by Yukio Mishima, 1956, I have not read. And finally, The Yellow House by Sarah M. Broom, published in 2019, I have read, and I own a copy. It's just not on these shelves. I actually put it in a box recently, a kind of storage box. That's another story for a different time. But I have a copy and I have read it. So 
From this checklist, I have read two, The Goldfinch and The Yellow House. So two from this list and two from the previous list, I've read four of 40. So I'm at 10%. <laughs> I'm at 10%. But I really love these books. I think this, I think these books, I think the, the design here is just fantastic. Penguin Random House sent these to me to check them out and review them. So I love them. <laughs> the different colors here are the different colors of the things in the titles. Did I say that already? So Milk and Honey is this one right here. The Yellow House, is, this is yellow. And banana notes on a banana so this is banana <laughs> it looks exactly like a banana half of a yellow sun is this title right here now let's compare it with the yellow sun they are the same color that's pretty cool dr marigold is here and cup of gold is here and saffron golden apples saffron a grain of wheat golden pavilion dandelion and straw dogs that's really cool i mean i don't know who comes up with these things but this is fantastic so those are two of the colors that we did today so now we've done red to orange and orange to yellow so you have to come back tomorrow for some other colors and I hope this video was long enough. <laughs> I hope this video was long enough. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. We'll be back tomorrow with another Vlogmas video, another book challenge, another one of these books as we round out the series. And more book lists, more challenges, more other people's bookshelves coming to you very soon. So I hope you'll come back for it. Let me know your score down below. Let me know how many of the 40 books we mentioned today you've read. We'll compare scores, we'll compare notes, and we'll talk about the books that we still want to read soon. <laughs> so thank you for being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's chat in the comments. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.